Welcome back to Switcher South Africa. I'm Nikki Nash as always. And today, you join me in the Mazda CX-5 Acura model. So this is the top of the range in the Mazda range. Um, this car goes for 740,000 Rand. And it is a lot. I do think so. But before we speak too much about the car, let's speak about change cars. What is change cars? Change cars is an online platform where you can buy, sell your car, inquire about your car. So if you have the Mazda CX-5 previous shape and you want this one, Go to change cars you'll see it there put your car up sell your car buy this one from change cars and yeah tell them nikki nash from Citrus south africa sent you but yeah without further ado let's speak about the look of the car so the look i'm sure you guys can see the lights the lights are number one for me so the difference between this acara model and the same shape acara model um this is the facelift so the difference between the facelift and the pre-facelift is that one the light the difference in terms of the lights the light design is different and coming in front the grill the grill is just here it looks more aggressive and it also has this red touch on the left hand side of the car that goes to show you the difference between this one and the previous one you can spot it immediately and then moving on to the side of the car you can see with the with the black wheels there's the difference the mirror caps as well they're black there's the difference of the car from the front you'll see it immediately when you see it from when you see that Kara pre facelift and a Kara facelift there's a difference now moving on to the back let's go so moving on to the back um i think you guys can see the difference from the back i don't have to tell you can you guess the lights again so the front design lights different rear design lights different so they have this um, type of c but l shape so l shape l shape also in front same thing it's like a c but it's like an l i hope i'm making sense that's the difference um, from the back and how does it look honestly i do like the look of the car from the back uh more especially because of these lights they work the previous the previous the preface lift the lights were more of like a circular shape um these ones are actually they they work because they look like the front so imagine headlamps but in the rear at the back that's what i like about this car but i've told you the look of the car i think we need to have a look at the car inside and there's the things that i don't like about the interior but you need to join me let's go so the interior it's a very nice place to be. I told you guys that I don't like it, but I was lying, but not lying. I do like the interior, the seats, number one. That's one thing I do like about the seats because they feel very comfortable and you feel that you're in a SUV. They give you that, you can sit low, but sit high at the same time. I hope I'm making sense. And something that I do like when you're facing there, the steering wheel, nice, nothing fancy from Mazda. They've kept actual buttons on the steering wheel. No haptic um, feedback, um, touch sensors on the, on the steering wheel. Also, the instrument cluster, it's analog and also digital. I like that about Mazda. So this part, they got right. This part, they got right because it has an electronic handbrake, auto hold, perfect. This part, they got right because this is still for the climate control. You adjust everything here, nothing in the touchscreen, no direction in touchscreen, no airflow in touchscreen, everything is here. I like that about, the, about, about Mazda. It ends there. When you come up here by the screen, let's say they lost the plot in my view because this screen is the exact same screen that you find in the preface left CX-5. It's the exact same screen you find in other um, previous models of Mazda. So for example, the Mazda 3 previous generation has the screen, has this infotainment. The one we tested um, a couple of weeks ago, click the proper banner, the side, um, you'll see it doesn't have this infotainment system and has the new updated system. So for Mazda, I don't get how they got, they made a facelift TX5, but they didn't put the, the updated infotainment system. So that's one thing that I don't like about this vehicle. Speaking of things I don't like, we're at the point, we need to speak about three things I like, three things I don't like. And you know how we do it this side? We always start with the bad. And number one, is the infotainment system i don't like that it's an old school infotainment system um they could have spent a few thousands here and there for this for the new one for the newer um infotainment system the second thing that i don't like is this the reverse cam and the 360 view quality wise it's one of the worst qualities i've seen or i've been in in a car for 740,000 rand i expect better quality you can see that the reverse camera isn't that good and in my view mazda could have done way better in that regard Number three, um, there is no lock and unlock button in this vehicle. Um, you can look all over, hazards are here, climate control is here. There is nothing that tells you this is the lock button for the doors. So to unlock the car and lock the car over here on the side, you need to do this to lock it. I don't like that about the car. I need a button. So if you don't know the car, this is very old school. That's the third thing I don't like about the car. But as much as I don't like all those things, there is a lot of good things that, that I like about this car. But I'm going to cap it to three. 
number one that i like about this vehicle is these lights these lights here in front and also the back i like how these lights look that's my number one second thing that i like about this car is the bow sound system is it amazing yes it is is it better than the mazda 3 no it's not but for this vehicle number one i do like it but i've told you two things i like i need to tell you the third thing third thing is the driver of the car and for the driver of the car i need to drive the car drive the vehicle how is the drive of the vehicle the, dri the drive of the vehicle is very nice the car handles the road perfectly um i do like the drive of the vehicle so this car is a 2.2 liter turbo diesel so you're looking at 140 kilowatts and 450 liter meters of torque and those figures are figures you normally find in a bucket and you guys know i like buckies so in this in this car it drives amazing um in the mazda range i think this for me is the <coughs> is the engine to have and there's the petrol cx5 we're getting that next so that review will come after maybe two other videos for this one i've driven the petrol cx5 and the that engine it does feel sluggish it does feel sluggish but i'll let you know about that car when i do drive it or when you do do a full review this one this car doesn't feel lazy at all it gets to speed quick enough um there is never in a point of time where you feel the need that you know what i need more power or the car isn't giving me what i want it gives you what you want when you want it so something that i don't like about this vehicle is a diesel engine but in terms of range um, fuel efficiency and all of that on one single tank you can you can get i'm telling you at max depending on how you drive even if you drive very nicely at max you can get 600 k's and i don't like that because in diesel vehicles i should be getting minimum 700 and then looking to the eight in a diesel engine um the diesel test cars i've had easily go over 600 easily go over 700 in this vehicle um my range is saying 160 to empty and i've only done 353 kilometers on one tr on, on the same tank so it goes to show you that in this car you're looking at around 500 to 550 um range um, so i don't like that for diesel vehicle i shouldn't be getting the same um fuel figures as i would in a petrol engine that's what that's something i don't like with this vehicle so mazda needs to go back to the factory and find a way to make the diesel engine work in terms of fuel efficiency because the power delivery and all of that it works i do like i do like the car so this vehicle has a six speed automatic gearbox how is the gearbox it's okay it gets the job done um it's not a quick shifting gearbox, but it's quick. Uh, especially when you're pulling with it, it is quick. The pedal shift, it has pedal shifters, but pedal shifters in this vehicle are, for me personally, one of the most useless things. Um, I've used them once and once only. There is no need for pedal shifters. The gear, the gear stick, you can pop it to the side and go to manual. And then, like a race car driver. And what I like about this vehicle is that down is up and up is down. I like that about the car but at the same time you won't need to use that because there is no point in time where you should ever feel like you want to go fast like a race car in the mazda in the mazda cx5 so i've told you that my driving impressions of the car i hope um, you guys do like the vehicle tell me if you would get this one or the one i'm about to review next the petrol engine and then yeah now it's time to speak about my recommendations so do i like the car would i buy the car and would I recommend it to people? And for that, I need to be outside the vehicle, so... Bye! Recommendation. Do I like the car? Would I buy the car? Would I recommend it? One, do I like the car? Yes. Two, would I buy the car? If I was in the market for one, I would consider it. 100% buy, not too sure. Would I recommend the car? 100%. Let me tell you why. This vehicle, for 740,000 rand, it is a lot of money. But at the same time, you're getting a lot of car and being a Mazda, you know that Mazda gives you in terms of reliability. The Mazda is not problematic. If you treat the car well, it will treat you well. And this car, you're looking at competitors, you're looking at the H6, um, Havale 6, you're looking at the Hyundai Tucson, Kia Sportage, and the VW Tiguan. So the VW Tiguan is a bit more expensive. You're looking at plus 800,000 Rand for VW Tiguan, depending on how you spec it. Um, so there's that. And then the Havale 6, you're looking at 100,000 Rand cheaper than this so you need to look where is your money at so this is the diesel haval and tiguan doesn't offer diesel anymore well tiguan doesn't offer diesel anymore haval never offered diesel in the first place but here's the thing with haval there's a new one that's out now is the haval h6 hybrid so that one is a hybrid it goes for 760,000 rand so for, for 670,000 rand my mistake so you need to find your niche what do you like 
Are you more, you want to play it safe and go for Mazda or you are, not, are you willing to risk your money and say, okay, I'm going to try the new brand like Haval. But my recommendation, I would recommend it to you. I would shortlist it amongst those cars I just mentioned. And for you, the decision is up to you. Just go to a dealership, drive the car, experience it for yourself and then make the final decision. If you do end up buying one of these vehicles, it should be through Change Cars. And tell me, so we can celebrate you on the channel. And you'll be like, you bought a car through me. But other than that, I've told you about the Mazda CX-5, and I'm Nikki Nash from Sitcha, South Africa, and I am signing out.